Hello Pisces, this is your reading for December 17th through 23rd. So let's focus on the cards and spirit. What do you have for us, Pisces, <clears throat> for December 17th through 23rd? What would you like for us to know, pay attention to, or be aware of? Please only allow truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within this reading as above, so below. So, I'm doing these readings a little bit differently, as you know I do from time to time. And also, this weekend, I did a series on a Dash for Mindfulness PDF, so you can know how to use it effectively um, there's something in there for everyone just check it out see if it interests you and Pisces let's see crown chakra in reverse helpless and hopeless and balance there's some confusion maybe even anger here about something um about not knowing where to go not feeling connected over worrying yourself possibly anxiety feeling trapped within a situation and and getting out of it and walking into finding more balance for yourself Well, something didn't work out. Either an investment, a project, or a relationship. So the three of pentacles being in reverse here tells me that there's an issue with someone working with you. Not feeling like your goals are being achieved. Not feeling like what you want is you're going in that direction. You're not going in that direction, excuse me. So something failed. A relationship, a try in a relationship, a project. But you feel like there's so much there. Um, this tells me that you don't want to give up on it. You don't want to give up on it and you feel like it's something worth investing your time and energy into, right? You're still holding on to it with the Six of Cups being here. Holding on to, on to it even though it may not be fully developed or it's just memories or ideas that you may have about a relationship or where you wanted to go. It feels to me as if the other person, if you're dealing with another person, um, isn't really working to get that foundation or they don't see things the way that you see them. You see that there's this ultimate potential for a relationship and you really want it to grow, definitely. If this is a project you're working on, you really have high hopes for it. You think it's the best thing. It's something about your direction. The crown chakra comes up because it means that the connection between what the universe or spirit or God wants for you is different than what you're focusing on. It's just a wake up call at the beginning of the week. So I see you getting your emotions together, um, reevaluating situations, taking stock in what it is that you do have. Okay. And be careful of not want, of wanting too much emotion. So they're telling me to talk about um, you wanting too much from a person that they can't give you. So there's a different in love language. Um, to step out of yourself and try to see it through this other person's eyes. Don't make any foolish moves or anything like that. 
because you just don't want to let go of this idea that you have regarding this relationship or this person okay this can hold you back um, this is also saying that this person could be lying or there could be secrets okay but you're so focused on the past and what it is that you did have that you're not seeing you know what's going on now and it seems to me there's an issue with balance or give and take like this person doesn't want the same thing that you do okay um, you're not on the same level so now it's about finding balance it's about being in tune with the other person and what they actually want being in tune does not mean giving up yourself or sacrificing okay it just means to be more aware I love that the hangman comes up with this to emphasize that point because the hangman talks about making a sacrifice of being quiet and watching, paying attention because there's something that needs to be seen and you're going to see it in the conversation, in the action because by the end of the week it's going to start picking up and you're going to see that what was not fixed or what was not resolved is still there right are you gonna try something new try a different direction okay um, because you don't want to be single or you don't want to be separated from this person that's where the balance comes in if you're not going to do that if you're not willing to do that then this isn't a good place for you to be because it seems like it's going to be rough there are secrets there are things that need to come out this person is not really communicating the things that they want to communicate okay because they want to keep you around so be careful of that energy okay be careful pay attention don't make any foolish decisions because you want to hold on or because you want to show a person that you care there is potential here and that's what's keeping you within this situation but there's also something you don't know okay all right so let's take a moment for deep breath to inhale divine knowledge through opening the heart and mind and exhaling the old issues, conflicts, and struggle of the week. This card flipped right out for you and it is surrender, okay? You <laughs> don't need to be the person to make this happen, okay? The three of pentacles in reverse talks about this being a cooperative, okay? Um, you have to work together. You are not the person that solely makes a relationship work, okay? Um, you have to work together with a person. They have to want to, to work on it as well. You can't be the only one making the sacrifices and the efforts. And when you release control, you'll see what it is that you need to see. You'll see that you deserve more. There's more that's needed here. So you don't have to sacrifice yourself. The hangman tells you to wait and pay attention because you'll see. You deserve love. You are lovable. And that's the reminder the reminder is that it's not about and i said this for capricorn so you may be dealing with a capricorn as well um that it's fine that they like you okay or that they want to be with you but do you like them and that and it goes also in the reverse like it's fine that you like them and want to be with them, but are they worth your time? Are they worth the effort for this? Just because you like them, you have some emotional connection with them, but it seems like spirit, your intuition is telling you otherwise, right? So if you st stop yourself from being so straightforward and direct it because the chariot is under here, okay? It's like you're so focused and you're so dedicated to 
this person or this energy there's something that needs to be seen here okay that you're pushing away that could be important for the future okay so pisces thank you so much for listening and let's meet again next week for more self-discovery love and light to you bye bye